The 135th edition of Wimbledon is being contested from June 27th to July 20th, 2022. Due to the controversy surrounding the tournament's decision to prohibit players from Russia and Belarus, the ATP, ITF and WTA will not issue ranking points for the 2022 competition. In this video, we'll give a little insight into the Wimbledon 2022 event. We'll try to give the details of all the important events that have occurred in the season so far. But, you know, it is impossible to cover every detail, but we will try to tell you the most. Before we move any forward, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. Without any further delay, let's get started. What is Wimbledon? Firstly, we'll tell you what this tournament is actually. Wimbledon, also referred to as the Championships or just Wimbledon, is the oldest and most renowned tennis competition in the world. The event has been held at the All England Club in Wimbledon, London since 1877. It is played on outdoor grass courts with retractable roofs over the two main courts since 2019. Wimbledon is one of the four Grand Slam tournaments. The Australia Open, French Open and US Open are the other three Grand Slam tennis competitions. It is the only major currently held on grass, which is the traditional surface for playing tennis. It is the only Grand Slam out of four which does not conduct night matches. Wimbledon was cancelled in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. It was the first time Wimbledon was cancelled since World War II. June 27th, Alejandro Davidovich Fakir upsets number 7 Hubert Herkesaz. Day 1 of Wimbledon 2022 The match was played between Spain's Alejandro Davidovich Fakir and Hubert Herkaz. Hubert Herkaz was one of the favourites for the 2022 event, but the match featured an upset. Hubert Herkaz found himself in a hole. He was down two sets but put up a great fight and found his way back into the game by winning the next two sets. In the end, the pole dropped the final set and match. Herkaz, after the victory, announced here he would donate €100 Euros for every ace he hit at the tournament of Wimbledon in 2022 to the Russia-Ukraine crisis. June 28, Serena Williams was eliminated in the opening round and odds of Rafael Nadal were improved. On this day, the first giant was slain at the All England Club. Harmony Tan from France, who is making her debut in Wimbledon, defeated Serena Williams in a three-set tiebreaker. Harmony Tan is ranked 115th. It is only the third time Serena Williams has exited her Grand Slam in the first round. She has a total of eight Grand Slam appearances. This marked the return for the 23-time Grand Slam champion and seven-time Wimbledon champion, who last year competed nearly a year ago, before being hurt during the 2021 Wimbledon tournament. While on the men's side, French-American number 6 Maxime Cressy was defeated by Félix auger -Lia. Rafael Nadal's draw is substantially more favourable now that the Canadian is out of the running, and Covid is withdrawn from Matteo Berrettini, the reigning men's runner-up, and Martin Kilic, both of whom are ranked in the top 20. June 29th, American John Isner ousts England's Andy Murray. Number 20 John Isner was able to put on a show in his second round match against hometown favourite player Andy Murray. The opening two sets were closely contested by the 6'10 American, leaving Andy Murray scrambling just to stay in the match. Before ultimately losing in the fourth set, the British player won the third set in a tiebreaker. It ended up being 6-4, 7-6, 6-7, 6-4. On the centre court, Andy Murray's elimination came right after Great Britain's number one, Emma Raducanu was defeated by Caroline Garcia from France by 6-3, 6-3 on the same day. French opener runner-up Casper Rudd was defeated in his second round match by France's Hugo Humbert in four sets. June 30th, Katie Bolter vs Karolina Pliskova England's Katie Bolter eliminated the runner-up of 2021 Wimbledon Karolina Pliskova. Katie dropped the first set 6-3, but she came back in game and scored 7-6 and 6-4 in the next two rounds. After the match, Katie dedicated the victory to her grandmother, who just passed away. My gran passed away two days ago. I'd just like to dedicate that to her, she said in the Encore interview. In other news, American Brandon Nakashima defeated number 13 Denis Shapovalov in the second round with scores of 6-2, 4-6, 6-1 and 7-6. He is one of eight Americans who've reached Wimbledon's third round. July 1st, John Isner breaks the record. American John Isner sets a record on this day. He breaks the record of most aces. In the round match of Isner against Janik Sinner, 
Isner hit the five aces he needed in less than two serves. Isner retains the new record for aces with 13,729 despite dropping the match. Additionally, Isner is the only fifth ATP player to reach 1,000 aces at Wimbledon. July 2nd, Iger Swiatek's winning streak got broken. So this was the day when Elise Cooper snapped the 37-match winning streak of Iger Swiatek. Iger had the record of maintaining the longest match winning streak. Top-ranked Iger Swiatek was defeated 6-4, 6-2 by Corne in the third round of Wimbledon. She won the match after eight years of defeating Serena Williams. After the win, Elise said, It reminded me of the time I beat Serena on the same court eight years ago exactly. I think this court is a lucky charm for me. July 3rd, David Goffin beats Francis Tiafo. It was the longest match of Wimbledon 2022. This match was played for 4 hours and 36 minutes, where American Francis Tiafo went toe-to-toe -to -toe with David Goffin. This match was the second straight Grand Slam in which Goffin eliminated Francis Tiafo. Other than the game, some big names of sports returned to center court to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the venue. Billie Jean King, Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, Novak Djokovic, Venus Williams, and Andy Murray were among the former champions present for the ceremony, which was hosted by John McEnroe and Sue Barker. July 4th, Rafael Nadal vs. Botic van der Vanschlup It seems like Rafael Nadal is not at all having any trouble playing on grass. The King of Clay performs the best on grass too. Rafael Nadal beat Botiv van der Vanderschlup in straight sets. The game included a rally that ended with Rafael Nadal shot past the Dutchman. He capped off the point. After sharing centre court with past champions during the venue's centenary celebration, Nadal said, For me, just being a part of this group of legends is unforgettable. July 5th, Tatjana Maria and Ons Jabba secure the first Wimbledon semi-final spots. Germany player Tatjana Maria is enjoying the Wimbledon run of her life. The 34-year-old and mother of two, Tatjana Maria, defeated fellow German Julie Mayamir by 4-6-6-2-7-5 and booked her spot in the semi-final of the 2022 event. Before this, Maria had not passed the second round of this Grand Slam. In the semi-final, she'll be facing Tunisia's number 3, Ons Jabba, on July 7, 2022. Ons Jabba has also qualified for the semi-final for the first time. Jabba is the highest seed remaining in the draw after week 1 eliminations of number 1, Iga Swiatek, and number 2, Annette Kontaveit. July 6, Rafael Nadal qualifies for Wimbledon semi-final. The match was played between the legend Rafael Nadal and American Taya Fritz. Rafael Nadal defeated Taylor in an epic five-set match and was successful in booking a spot in the semi-final of the Wimbledon 2022. Rafael Nadal and Taylor Fritz were split after the first four sets, but the 22 Grand Slam champions' experience and tactics were useful in the fifth set, which helped Rafael Nadal to win the game and book his spot in the semi-final. Rafael Nadal won the match by 3-6, 7-5, 3-6, 7-5, 7-6, 4-4. After the match, Rafael Nadal said that in the match he was dealing with a severe abdominal injury that almost caused him a loss. It feels that although Rafael Nadal is suffering from many health-related issues these days, nothing is stopping him from giving his best performance. Rafael Nadal will face Australian Nick Kyrgios in the semi-final on July 8, 2022. July 10, Wimbledon 2022 Finale Nick Kyrgios and Novak Djokovic played Wimbledon 2022 final on the 10th of July. The Serbian Novak Djokovic defeated Australia's Nick Kyrgios in the final match and won his fourth straight Wimbledon and 21st Grand Slam title. Djokovic won the match in four tight sets and sealed the win with a tiebreaker, 4-6, 6-3, 6-4, After the match, he said, I lost words for what this tournament trophy means to me, to my team, family. While talking about Wimbledon 2022, he said this tournament is always going to be the most important tournament to me in my heart. Here's a surprising piece of news for you all. Djokovic has been unbeaten on centre court at Wimbledon since 2013. After winning the finale, he took home a cash prize of 2.5 million US dollars. So this was all from the video. Hope you all enjoyed it. What are your views about the great win of Novak Djokovic? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you guys. See you again with another video on another topic. Until then, bye bye.